Here is a Microsoft Surface Go 3. I'm going to show you how to fix an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the tablet or the PC is on. It's just that your screen remains black. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now at your home. So the first thing is if you have a keyboard on here, go ahead and detach the keyboard. And next thing is you want to locate where the power button is, okay? And you can see if I look on the top here, I have the power button here and the volume rockers, okay? So what I want to do is just press and hold this power button and do not let go until I see a Windows logo appear and then let go, okay? We're going to force it to restart. So take note that this screen is actually fixed, but let's pretend I got a black screen here, okay? So here's the power button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold that power button. Do not let go until we see a Windows logo, okay? Continue to hold the power button. Ignore what's happening to the screen. Let's just pretend it's a black screen. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding on to this power button, waiting for that Windows logo appear. And once that Windows logo appear, appears, there it is. Let go of that power button quickly, okay? And let it, go, let it go ahead and boot up normally, and hopefully your screen is up and running now. Now, I should boot up into the Windows login screen, okay? If, if you can see your screen, you see that you're in recovery here, just go ahead and tap on Restart My PC, okay? Okay, so if your screen is still black, next thing we're going to do is this, okay? So first thing is locate the power button. And what we want to do the power button is we want to spam the power button. Spamming by, like, press in and out like this. Go ahead and get get it uh, unstuck. Maybe it's stuck or jammed, or maybe you got lint in there, or coffee, or soda, or even water, or lotion, or whatnot. So go ahead and loosen that up. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the charging cable, and we're going to plug it in. As soon as we plug it in, just make sure that the white light comes on so we know it's charging, okay? And then from here, we're going to do the same thing with the power button. We're going to press and hold that power button, and do not let go until we see a Windows logo then let go quickly of the power button, okay? So we'll do it together. It's charging right now. Pretend my screen is black here. Here's the power button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Keep on holding that power button. Keep on holding. Ignore what's happening to the screen. Just pretend it's a black screen. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button, waiting for that Windows logo to appear. And as soon as it loads, let go of, it. Let go of the power button quickly. Windows logo, there it is. Let go quickly. Okay, and go ahead and let it boot up normally and hopefully your screen is up and running now. Okay, well hopefully you are up and running. Now if you're not, you still have a black screen, no problem. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go ahead and lay the PC flat like this. And we're gonna pretend my screen is black here, okay? So what we're gonna do here is what I call the tap method. Simply get two fingers like that, put this on your desk, and what you want to do is tap kind of hard on the screen itself, okay? So just keep doing this like this. And sometimes as you're doing this, you might get like half a screen. You might get like white lines that pop up. Or sometimes nothing nothing comes up. But no problem. Just keep tapping kind of hard everywhere. Keep on going. Keep on going. Okay, now just go ahead and tap your power button. So tap the power button and see if your screen is on. If it's still black, no problem from here. Remember, we're going to press and hold this power button again. Press and hold. Do not let go until you see a, a Windows logo. As soon as the Windows logo appears, let go of the power button quickly, okay? Anyway, if you're still down, you still have a black screen, the next thing I have for you is what I call the massage method. So the same premise uh, behind the, uh, the first method, the tapping, is possible that you have something slightly dislodged, like a ribbon, and a tap could pop into place, a massage can even pop it in place, okay? So go ahead and put your um, tablet or PC down like this, and what you want to do is get two thumbs and you want to press down all over on the screen, okay? You can use like a washcloth or a rag or whatnot if you don't want to smudge up your screen, but basically what you want to do is like this, okay? So we have the two thumbs here and you want to press, press, press. Keep on pressing, press, 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 press. Give it a nice massage here, okay? All over, press, press, all over, okay? Just like that. Now go ahead and tap your power button to see if your screen is on. If it's not, if it's still black, no problem. Again, while it's uh, black here, Press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Windows logo appear. Remember, as soon as you see the Windows logo, you have to let go of this power button kind of fast, okay? Anyway, hopefully you are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next possible step.
So this next possible step here, I call what I call the smack method. Okay, it's the same premise um, in regards to the tapping and massage. You may have something slightly dislodged, like a cable or a ribbon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab. Uh, you can put a cloth. I want you to hold your hand out your palm like this. You can put a cloth on there if you don't want to dirty up the screen. But basically, what we're going to do is we'll, like, we're going to smack the screen. So hold it like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the PC, and I'm going to smack the screen. Okay, the bottom and the top part. Okay, so I'm going to hold it like this, and I'm going to. Also on the bottom of the screen. Give a couple of nice wax there. Now go ahead and turn it over. Tap on the power button and see if your screen is now working. If not, if you still have a black screen, then from here again, same thing. Press and hold that power button. Do not let go until you see a Windows logo appear. As soon as that window logo appears, let go of that power button quickly. Now, if you if you still have a black screen, then the last thing I want you to do is this grab your um your surface go here surface go three just like this nice and naked i want you to go to your freezer okay so go to your refrigerator put this in your freezer leave it there for 15 or 20 minutes let it get nice and cold after 15 or 20 minutes take your cold um surface go three out of the freezer and then tap on the power button to turn on the screen to see if your screen is on it turns on okay if it doesn't turn on if it's still black no problem then while your uh, pc is nice and cold press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see a windows logo appear now here's the thing if you tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen black screen then what i would recommend is start from the very beginning of the video try step one two three all the way to the freezer method if it doesn't work again Try it three times, four times. Try it at least the seven times. If all of you guys tried all of these stuff at least seven times, at least 75% of you guys will not have a working screen. Okay? Good luck, guys.